For some reason, I don't know why, chillblains sound like a really old-fashioned condition. You tend to think of kind of, you know, skinny Victorian kids at the workhouse rubbing their red hands together with these great painful lumps. But actually, they are amazingly common. They probably affect about one in ten people during their lifetime, and they're much more common in women. Now, the reason for that is because chillblains are related to cold. What happens is your circulation becomes really sluggish when you get cold, and it particularly slows down in your hands and your feet. Women, when they get cold, tend to shut off the circulation in their hands and feet really soon. That's why so many women have cold hands and feet. Men, on the other hand, when they get cold, are much more likely to shiver, and when they warm up, they're more likely to sweat. That bit's true as well. Ladies really do glow rather than sweat. Basically, what we think is happening with chillblains is when your circulation shuts down, as it warms up again, the vessels open up and fluid can leak out into the area surrounding it. And that causes that inflammation, that redness, and that really quite unpleasant swelling. You tend to get chillblains a few hours after you've been really, really cold. As you've warmed up again, you'll get, first of all, red lumps. They tend to occur on your hands and feet, but you can get them on your nose, on your earlobes. Horse riders, for instance, can get them anywhere that gets cold, including their lower legs or even their thighs. Blotchy, small red lumps, which later become purplish quite often and are very itchy and can be really painful. They often last for several days, but they do tend to settle on their own. Usually, having chillblains doesn't mean there's anything else wrong with you. However, if you're taking certain medications like beta blockers for heart problems, it is worth talking to your pharmacist or your GP to see if they could be the cause. So how do you avoid chillblains? Really importantly, you avoid getting cold. That means putting hats and gloves on before you go out. It means thick socks. It means a scarf, if necessary, to cover your nose if that gets affected. But also, it means not warming up too quickly. You may, if chillblains are really bad, use a hand warmer, which will provide you with some heat while you're outside. Think in advance about getting one of those. But when you come back inside, avoid the temptation to warm up by putting your hands on the radiator using a hot water bottle. Warming up too fast can make things worse. Even though they're common, even though they can be really distressing, there's not much in terms of treatment that you can do. Sometimes, perhaps, antihistamines can help with the itching, but you probably don't need to worry about them too much. What you do need to do is take steps to avoid them.